Last year's dry weather put a damper on most firework displays in the state, but with the 180 the weather is pulled this year, people are stocking up for a big 4th of July. Hannah Davis caught up with some consumers looking to get their literal bang for their buck. A little teamwork is a good foundation for the perfect fireworks display. He focuses on like the small stuff that we do before sundown and I go and buy some of the bigger things that we buy after sundown shoot off. More than 200 million Americans plan to observe Independence Day according to the National Retail Federation and nearly half intend on purchasing fireworks to celebrate. They get kind of a variety of stuff and, and a few hundred dollars is kind of an average sale and they kind of mix it up with the grand finale and some of the kids stuff. With the holiday falling on a Wednesday this year, some are choosing to sit out on the celebration, but for others, nothing will get in the way of this tradition. We're taking off and going to try not to think about work or uh, anything of the sort and just uh, spend time with family and barbecue and light off fireworks. The American Pyrotechnics Association says that last year consumers purchased nearly 230 million pounds worth of fireworks. I try not to like buy like the really big ones because they go off super fast. They're not really that lasting long. So we like to get the little ones and just have fun with those. Although the big displays are the most popular, many still opt for the quieter and more colorful options. We kind of impulse buy every year. Um, the kids don't aren't into the really big stuff yet. It still kind of scares them, so we do the little fountains and sparklers. All in celebration of our independence. For KX News, I'm Hannah Davis. Although it is more wet outside this year, remember to play it safe and check the fire danger index in your area before lighting any fireworks. It might be